you know, maybe around the third day on the ventilator, uh, the head of the PICU took, come in the room and, and he said, you know, we're the biggest PICU in the country, pediatric intensive care unit. Almost every child we put on a ventilator gets off. Unfortunately, we don't think Emily's going to get off. So you might want to call your family in. I said, well, I know uh, that she's going to change the world. So please keep trying to help her because I'll see it rounds tomorrow. And he pulled me, pulled me into the hallway and looked at me like I was the most naive parent in the world. And he said, there's a one in a thousand chance your daughter's alive when the sun comes up. You better call your family in. The next day, he came with his group of young doctors and said it's medically hard to explain how Emily's still here, but that's why we never give up on a child. And within an hour of that, Dr. Grupp showed up and said the, the team and the lab stayed up all night identifying what's wrong in Emily's system. And we found this protein that's a thousand times higher in her system than anybody we've ever seen. It's off the charts. And we happen to have an arthritis drug. We have two doses of this arthritis drug that's never been used on a cancer patient that takes that protein down and we feel like it could give her a chance. And that saved her life. So that medicine was called tocilizumab and they gave Emily that medicine. And within hours we were hearing the nurses um, say we've never seen a child this sick get better any faster. And they were, you know, and I posted online, I believe I'm witnessing a miracle. And, uh, and she came back to us then and, and woke up on her seventh birthday from that 14 day coma. This is Genetics for Healthcare, a podcast for patients.